Yeah, Susan, such a tragic twist to our story here in East Grand Bay. We learned that Mr. Rydell was not even supposed to be on that plane yesterday. He was supposed to take that flight today. Last night, we first introduced you to Rob Rydell, a man who family says immersed himself in World War II history. His teenage years were spent rebuilding this Jeep from that era. His honeymoon took him to Pearl Harbor, and in less than a year, his 60th birthday was going to be celebrated in Normandy. He was a World War II enthusiast. So it comes as no surprise that when the B-17 came to Connecticut, Rob wanted to take a ride. This trip was on his bucket list to do. As you can imagine, Rydell was very excited. He posted this photo on Facebook from the waiting area and then this one on board the plane minutes before the crash. Looking closer, we see Rydell mentioned he switched his flight to make it a day earlier. This is something that is really, really tragic, but he died doing something that was really dear to him. Tonight, his family grieves. His widow Deborah writes, quote, Rob was the best person I've ever known. He was my soulmate. I will miss him beyond words can ever express. Now, Rydell leaves behind two children and a grandchild, and the family says, yes, we are grieving, but they want all of the thoughts and prayers to go toward the survivors because they say those are the ones who have the longest road to recovery. That's the latest live here in East Granby tonight. Matthew Campbell, Channel 5 News.